Welcome back, everyone. Happy Monday to you. Hope your week is starting out great. Uh, weekend was uh, some good stuff here. Got a lot of great things accomplished. Had some really nice weather. Even got to watch a little bit of baseball. So uh, it was good all the way around. Uh, but we are here to start off a new week. And looks like we're back on track to where our Wednesday, our Mon Wednesdays, wow, I'm getting ahead of myself, where our Mondays have been for quite some time. And that's... Uh, a lot of returns here. So what we're looking at for today is we got six TTMs that came back and then this was a uh, purchase that was made um, through Facebook. So we're gonna open that one up last. Um, some of you already know what this is because I had reached out to you last week about it. Um, but uh, we're gonna open up that one last and we're gonna kinda work with our one, two, three, yeah, our six TTMs that we came had come in. Um, we got one from Canada that's here. We've got one that's a mystery envelope with nothing there. And then uh, we got New Jersey, Shreveport, Louisiana, St. Louis, Missouri, and Seattle, Washington. Um, some of these I have a pretty good idea of what they are. Others, really no clue at all. Um, so some are gonna be an absolute mystery, but let's go ahead and get started because we've got a lot to open today. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and start out in Seattle. Um, not quite sure what this one is. It, obviously, it's a newer return back, and we have somebody that has gone through and done the additional tape sealing on there. So, uh, always appreciated when they do that. Um, at some point, I'm gonna get back to doing the self-stick envelopes. I just um, haven't had a chance. I have, uh, I found a couple of boxes of the traditional ones, so I wanna kinda work my way through those before I switch back over. All right, so nice return back. Lenny Wilkins. I actually had found a couple of new cards on Lenny. Um, actually, I didn't have any of these signed previously and then also got um, one of his business cards here. Um, but this was really neat. I picked this one up here at a card show not too long ago. It's a, uh, it was a gas station Texaco um, set and I, had I didn't even know that they had existed, but um, went ahead and got that out. Um, and then another one of the USA cards there. I'm going to slide that over. Um, one of the USAs. This is the one they did like an 80 card set or something with the skybox with it with 92. And then one of the uh, traditional coaches cards there. So um, Lenny, always a great, great signer. Great guy. So... Um, Especially when I had found that card there, I was like, okay, I got to go ahead and send a couple of these out. And uh, I'd offered him the extra one if he wanted to keep it, but he opted to sign it and send it back. So um, that's a nice little add-on there. So I really appreciate that. All right. So um, this was a quick return. This was out uh, probably two weeks or so. So good start there. A 404 return from Lenny Wilkins. All right. Next up, let's go to St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I got a pretty good idea of who this is. Um, I think I've only got like one thing out in St. Louis. And yeah, so that's exactly what we got. Chris Pronger. Uh, Pronger is good about signing. He um, His main thing is he personalizes, which, hey, no problem with that. I don't mind that at all. Um, this uh, Upper Deck Canada set, I've been working on that casually over the years, um, so that was good to get. And the Winter Classic cards, I've got a bunch of those inserts, and I've just never really done anything with them. So um, I saw that card, Winter Classic, it's like, all right, let's go ahead and send that out. So um, nice two of two return. This was um, this one was out a little bit longer, um, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about six weeks or so. But glad to get that one back. Next up, going down to Shreveport, Louisiana. This is a quick return back. Um, I'll be honest, I I remember looking and seeing that there was a return that was going to be coming back out of Shreveport, and I think I just remembered who it is. If, uh, if I remember correctly, this should be a baseball return. It just came to me because some other people have been getting theirs back. Yep. Scott Garout's... Um, Pitcher for San Francisco Giants, and um, you'll see some very um, uh, repeat, we'll say, set cards here that uh, we've seen in multiple videos here with um, 
the 88 Fleer, the 90 score, an 88 score, and a 91 upper deck. So I'm um, glad to get these back. Uh, another card, especially for that 88 Fleer set, which I've you know really just kind of grown fond of right now with uh, getting stuff signed out of it. So um, knocked out a nice 404 um, Blue Sharpie. It looks like with his style of signing, he probably goes with a real quick swipe on the ends because if you look, the ink on the cards, and here I'll hold one up a little bit closer here. The ink on the cards, like when he does his S is fine, but when he gets to the lines, you see how it kind of fades out. And it's like that consistency, uh, consistently with about every card there where it just kind of lines out there. So he's probably not working with a brand new Sharpie, but one that still is, uh, it functions just fine with it. Just that when he does that quick streak with that, like the ink can't catch up to him. So um, that's where you get that streaking from. I'd be curious to see like in person how he would be or, you know, with a brand new Sharpie, how it looks, if it still has it work that way. Because there are some guys out there, um, you know, we call them Sharpie killers because they like are pretty much like carving down into a card and it just comes out so thick and so dark with it. Um, and you can actually sometimes even see an indentation in the card. Um, and then other guys that have got just like the super, super light touch. Um, I think in this case here, Scott's probably more so the quick with the line going across with it. Um, but still, hey, great return with it. I'm never going to complain about getting graphs back in the mail. So um, a nice 404 return here and certainly some set cards that I have been working with. All right, up next, uh, DV Daniels, New Jersey, um, 070. Uh, I know that that's northern New Jersey, so, um, and I took a look here, and we've got a please don't bend. There are about, there's like three different returns that this could be. I'm thinking it's the most recent one that I had sent out, but not the one that, um, that I initially thought it would be, but let's see here. So we got this here, we're opening this back up. Yep, so this is the one that I thought it would be, um just because of how quick it came back. Pat DePuzo, NHL on ice official. So after I had had success getting um, some of the uh, official cards done uh, back last month, I was doing a little bit more online sleuthing and searching and found three more guys that, um, that are signing um, TTM. So pretty much I like, I pulled my stack out and I just started doing some searches to find who was signing and came across three of them. Um, this one, there were two of the three that were in the US and one is up in Canada. So I went ahead and fired out the letters, um, all three on the same day and Pat DePuzo was the first one that came back. Um, this was out about maybe three weeks or so. So another cool addition to the official set. At some point in time, I'll take a look and see exactly how many of them I have signed relative to how many are out there. Um, so in that same vein of, uh, potential, uh, NHL on ice officials, this could be one technically as well, because this is a return coming back from Canada and it looks like there is some depth to this. Um, I'm going to go out on the limb though. This is my guess. I think this is Guy Lafleur. just based on the thickness of the envelope. I think it's Guy Lafleur. but let's see, man, I'm good. Sometimes Guy Lafleur. So uh, went ahead, I haven't sent out to Guy in a while. Um, so had tracked down some cards and really tried to get a nice little mix of things here. Um, got the Opeachy archives, which I do have one of these signed already. I uh, wanted to go ahead and get an extra one just for a little bit better placement on it. Um, a nice 77, 78 tops record breaker card, um, a 9091 um, tops card. Uh, this was in in the game Parker. Or I'm sorry, in the game a Parkhurst franchise leaders. This was like um, 0304. I love this card right here. The the just the look of it, the white background, and then the uh, Nordiques blue on there. Um, great looking card. And then um, of course the Fleer Legacy, which this card is just so awesome with just giving an, a great place to sign right there. Um, so Guy, um, solid as always, and this was out for I would say probably about a month or so. So um, solid, solid return back. Um, 
I actually hadn't really sent much to Guy Lafleur um, ever. This is just kind of relatively new in like the last year or so that I've started to actually send um, stuff out to him a little bit more. But yeah, you know, I tr maybe like once a year or so I send something out to him, and that's that's good for me. All right, on to our last return. So this is the one that is a complete mystery. Um, it's thin, so there's probably one or two cards that's in here. Um, but there is no marking whatsoever as far as what it is. So let's see what we get back. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So, you know what I said about New Jersey and um, a return back? And I, that it could be a couple of different ones? Well, this is <laughs> the other one. Marty Broder. Um... I took a shot on something here and uh, went ahead and sent out and lo and behold, got uh, got a nice two of two return back from Marty Brodeur. So I got his score rookie card signed and then this was the seventh inning sketch uh, St. Hyacinth La Lasers um, Juniors card when he spent his time in the QMJHL. The only thing, and I mean beggars can't be choosers, the only thing is I wish he would have signed it this way, going that way, but... I'm not going to complain in the least bit about it. So getting two of two from probably the greatest goaltender ever um, in terms of longevity and wins and all that good stuff. I mean, just all the way around. If he's not number one, he is certainly in the conversation um, and absolutely a, a top five without a doubt. So um, this came back really quick, actually, too. Um, this was out for two weeks, maybe. Um, and I had never gotten his scorecard signed. I, I've got several Marty autographs in my collection, um, but uh, this was one that I had never got before. So um, really, really stoked to get this back. So um, yeah, that was like when I saw the New Jersey return, I was thinking maybe that would be it, but that envelope was too thick. So this one here, um, and, and it was a shot in the dark. There was no guarantees I was going to get anything back. So heck yeah. So that's a great way to finish that out for today for our uh, our TTMs. So what I want to do is I'm going to go through and I'm just, uh, as we normally do, I'm going to show everything that we ended up getting signed for today um, because the next one is, uh, the next thing that we're going to open up here, my purchase, is going to take up a little bit of space. So I want to go ahead and show appropriately what we got here. We're going to put Lenny right over here along with his business card. And we got our Guy Lefleurs. And get that spread out nicely. Get those right there. And then we got our Chris Prongers. And then front and center has to be the Marty Broders, eh? So for our TTMs for today, um, so we ended up with 4, 8, 10, 14, 22 graphs um, through TTMs for the day. So really, really solid day. Great way to start off the week. And especially when you look at this and four of our six returns are from Hall of Famers. So that, I'll take that any day of the week. So great stuff there. All right, so moving on, we have got our little package here. So this was an opportunity that I saw come up um, towards the end of last week. Uh, a guy had done a private signing with an athlete, and um, I wanted to go ahead and hop in on that. And I kind of went together in it with some friends to give us some better prices on stuff. And um, this is what we got here. So, let me take just a sec to open up. You know what? Hang on a second. What I'm going to do is... Ah, got my handy-dandy scissors here. So, let's go ahead and give this a nice little snip here. And... Let's see if I may have to give us a few more cuts. He uh, packed them in here pretty good, which I do appreciate. Um, I'd rather take a little bit of extra time to get it opened up and get and make sure everything is safe. So what we are looking at, 
So we've talked about how I'm a big uh, New York Mets fan. So I was able to acquire through a signing a number of Greg Jeffries cards. So um, a guy had done a private signing with Greg and um, he had some extras that he had put up for sale. And I went ahead and made a nice little purchase um, of basically a bunch of his cards. And uh, it was one of these things where, you know, I'm doing it to uh, expand my, my collection out uh, of Jeffrey's cards, but also um, to help out some buddies here and um, make the shipping costs a lot more reasonable. So, as you can see, there were, there were quite a few that were purchased here. And what's cool is it's a lot of his early stuff here. The only card I really missed out on that I wish I could have gotten my hands on was an 89 upper deck. But I think he only had, like, one extra left from the signing, and I wasn't fast enough to snag it. But, like, these came from not the Topps rack packs, but, like, the fat packs. So, these were a little bit tougher to find. Um, the 89 Donruss came only in the box set form. Um, we've got the 88 score and Don Ross rookies. We've got the 88 Fleer rookie, the 89 tops because they didn't have a card of him in 88 tops or 88 tops traded. So this was his first tops card. Um, we've got the 1990 tops and then the 91 tops as well. So um, some of these are for me, uh, but the majority of them are going to be going out to friends. So um, guys, I know most of you watch the videos, so here they are. Um, so I'll be reaching out to each of you uh, separately to let you know, um, you know, what your total is and uh, get these on out in the mail. So uh, I'm, I was stoked about this when this came up and uh, was able to negotiate out, you know, a very fair price on stuff. So, um, you know, the guy that I got everything from, he worked with me well. But as you can see, it wasn't something where I was just buying one or two cards here. Um, I think, what was this? This was... Um, 10, 13, 16, 18, 20, 23 cards uh, that I bought from him. So, um, you know, it was certainly something that it was good for him to be able to, uh, to, to be able to sell a bunch of them at once instead of ones and twos here and there. So I think it worked out well for both sides. So that's what we got. So a really, really solid day when we're, we've got our Hall of Famers, um, Marty Broder, you know, uh, Guy Lefleur, um, Lenny Wilkins, Chris Pronger, you know, Pat DePuzo, Scott Gareltz. So um, TTMs were great. And then having the Greg Jeffrey stuff on top of that really kind of put it over the top. So I am so stoked with how the day turned out for uh, the mail today. Um, hopefully it's a sign of things to come. And maybe we'll be getting some other really, really cool stuff coming in here over the course of the week. Uh, but if not, you know, hey, if I didn't get anything else this entire week, I'm good with that because this right here has been a fantastic day. So I um, want to thank everyone, as always, for spending a little bit of time. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, leave comments for sure. Let me know if you have any questions on anything. I always try to um, address uh, any questions that are out there. Um, I feel like I've been doing better as far as replying back to comments and letting you guys know that, yeah, I do see what you what you say out there. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to really make a concerted effort to, to be more on top of that. So uh, thanks again so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, your day and enjoy the week. Uh, it's supposed to be some great, great weather over most of the U.S. this week. So um, hopefully you get a chance to enjoy it. And uh, make sure you're out there staying safe. Uh, you know, we're getting, things are getting better, but let's not put our guard down too soon uh, yet. Want everybody to make sure they're staying safe. Um, have fun as best you can with it. Um, and hopefully everyone's mailboxes uh, do stay full of ink. And until next time, hopefully tomorrow, that'll mean it's another good day. So until next time, everyone, see ya.